Good morning. Good morning to y'all. I just thought I'd make this uh, video. But, uh, yeah. I just read yesterday in newspapers that, uh, lo and behold, the CFL, as y'all know, the Canadian Football League is going to go on possible go on strike. And the players are going to go on strike. It's since they uh, somehow rejected some sort of offer to uh, raise money. I mean, I look at this and I would have thought, who would have thought the CFL would go on strike? I mean, I thought it was a perfect league since and, uh, since most of the players on there were, were, not, were making a reasonable amount of money because, because most CFL players have to um, end up taking another job just to compensate their income. Because they only pay about uh, maybe over forty thousand dollars a year for the players. Then they have to uh, the players have to scramble to get other jobs. Unlike the NFL, where the players make huge money and sign big league contracts, and um, they get a lot of endorsements in the NFL. Just like the NBA and the National Hockey League, the players get a lot of huge endorsements and they sign major big contracts. But uh, the CFL is like has fallen into many leagues that have players going on strike. I mean, I remember years ago the Major League Baseball players went on strike, the NFL the players went on strike, the NHL players went on strike. In the NBA, the players went on strike and they had to cancel half a season. And the NFL, the NFL was the same. They canceled the season. In the NHL, they canceled the season. I think it has to do with all these labor, labor disputes that the players uh, are having because they, they put their lives on the line. They put their bodies online which are prone to injuries and especially concussions now there are a lot of concussions occurring in the nfl and concussions occurring in the nhl and nba no no concussions but physical injuries do take place in the, these sports and even in major league baseball they uh, praise players sign big contracts and put their bodies on the line. So, uh, yeah, the CFLs, no, CFL. When it comes to this, this is no different. And I would not be surprised if uh, Major League Soccer went on strike too. Especially the players went on strike in Major League Soccer. And in some cases, the uh, NWSL, National Women's Soccer League if they're having some sort of contract dispute because it's a professional league and the WNBA going on strike as well. So the CFL is just another example of that, of players going on strike and disagreeing with this uh, offer that has they presented. And as I said in previous videos, in the previous video, all these leagues are nothing but plantations in a way especially the NBA and the NFL since most players are of African descent and even the CFL their players are made of African descent of course there's some white players Caucasian players but the majority of them are American African American players okay so it's like in a way as uh, Farrakhan said, it's, it's a plantation. Well, they're trying to make an offer right now, but uh, they don't have a lot of time left since um, the CFL season is coming next month. Yeah, it's just around the corner, just like the World Cup soccer, but the World Cup is it's only every four years. The, the CFL is every year, and they probably they probably get a lot of uh, 
get a lot of ad revenue as well due to the television coverage that they receive, especially from CBC and um, mostly TSN, the sports network. It's hopefully they talk, they solve the problem and uh, get this agreement uh, going. Otherwise, most Canadians here won't see any football this summer. But uh, as I said, sports has become big business. It is big business. It's no longer sports. It's business as usual. And the CFL is no exception and not immune to for players to go on strike, just like the NFL. But the difference is the NFL pays more money and they make more money. And they have a larger market market than the CFL since most than the NFLs in the US. They have more people down there. The market's look bigger down there. So but still the CFL's it's not immune to going on strike. That's my take for today.